Welcome back to the Dawn Show. The countdown is on for the 4th of July. Are you ready? Nothing goes better with fireworks and fun than some delicious food. So here with me now, celebrity chef, and you might recognize him from Spike TV's Bar Rescue, Chef Brian Duffy. So good, morning, good to have good you in the house. Thanks very much. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you, to be home. Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll, yeah. And we'll talk about what yeah. you mean by that in a second. You look like a burglar with the, uh, with I know, the gloves. I know. I've got black gloves. I've got a black jacket. <laughs> I am, I'm the banker guy. When they say somebody robbed, this is what they look like. So I'm all <laughs> hidden back here. Yeah. Why do you wear the gloves when you cook? Uh, I wear gloves all the time because I can take them off if I touch raw chicken and then go into fresh produce or something like that. But these are actually tattoo gloves. Cool. So they're a little bit more kind of durable, so they okay. won't rip. And if you're working over a grill, they're great because they actually will kind of reduce the heat on your hands. Oh. Yeah, so I use them when I'm in kitchens or whenever I'm cooking. So, all right. Yeah. yeah. So tell me what, what we're cooking up right. at your 4th of July. We've got like crazy stuff. So we're going to do a, uh, an ale brined chicken. Okay, so this is actually real simple. This is what a brine is. It's just water with a little bit of salt in it. Okay. And then this, I add uh, beer. So any kind of beer, I use lager, I'll use uh, uh, Yangling, whatever you want to put What's into it. What's your preference it. for the uh, brine? You know, I love Yangling, lager one, because I'm kind of a PA guy. Uh -huh. So I love lager. Uh, that's just water. Um, the recipes are all going to be on the website. But it's just water, brine, and then my own spice. This is duffified spice and salt. Nice. So, yeah. Pretty cool um, to have your own spice. It's kind of fun. Yeah, my <laughs> daughters actually fill the bottles. So if you're lucky, you get one that has an F or an E on the bottom of it, because that means Emily or Fiona. Oh. So yeah, my, my daughters fill it, or my awesome. girlfriend fills them as well. Well, so, um, you know, it's a family affair, whatever we're doing. But so for this stuff, it's real simple. I'm going to let the chicken sit in the water in the brine for about anywhere from four to six to eight hours. Okay. Um, if you let it go longer, it's going to cook it a little bit more. So you really want to pull it out in time based on how much salt you have in there. Um, but and we're going to get to cooking the chicken, but we need to get our slaw going first. So we're going to do a grilled slaw. Now, unfortunately, we have induction pans. If you do not have a grill, feel free. These are this is an, a grill pan. Okay. okay. It's a great thing to use. It's a great thing to have in the house just in case it were to rain on the 4th of July. It's not going to. Okay. We already know that. We already know that. We already know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this up. Or you could do the, the do. good old George Foreman. I'll tell you, right? I was in the store the other day. <laughs> I have an as seen on TV product as well. And, uh, and, and his stuff is still there. It's rocking and rolling. It's amazing what he does. So, so what I do with my cabbage is I'm just going to cut it down. I'm going to do it in a pan, so I'm going to char it real fast. Okay. So all I'm going to do is give this a real quick chop, nice and thin, just like that. You can grab that olive oil for me. Okay. Thank Put you very paper. much. I carry little bottles of everything with me. <laughs> so I take a little bit of olive oil right in the base of it. Maybe not even a tablespoon. Not even, not even. And then I'm going to add in my cabbage. I just want to start to get a little bit of color on here. So I'm going to go with a nice high heat. Okay. And then I'm going to take some broccoli. Okay. Now what I want is just the outside flowers of the broccoli. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of char this real fast. Now the one thing I'm not going to do is add salt to this right now. Because if I add salt to it, it's going to start to break it down from the liquid. Okay. I just want the natural heat and the natural sugars to come out of here. Okay. So I'm going to give that a quick, quick, quick saute. We're going to let that sit for a second. Okay. And then in the meantime, we're going to get some of the remaining of our ingredients going. Just a red pepper. A little trick on how to cut them fast. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm no rookie. Wow. I get to play with a knife every now and then. <laughs> so I do a really quick julienne. Ninja Duffy. That's right. <laughs> I am. I've got the black on. I'm ready to go. <laughs> and, you've, you, and you've got your, uh, you've also got your American flag. I've got my American flags you're, on there. You're a patriot on the go. Tell <laughs> me about am. what you're doing um, to help our, our troops uh, around the world. I get the, I have the pleasure and the honor of being able to travel all over the world with a group of guys called the Mess Lords. So it's four guys from all over the country um, that have restaurants and all that. We've all been on TV. We all are on TV. And we get to go around the world and cook for the troops. So it's awesome. I just got back from Italy, Spain, Germany, Belgium, France, and the UK, where we cooked for like 12,000 guys over 14 days. Um, these guys just got back from Siganella, Italy, where they cooked over there. So we get to go all over the world and meet awesome people. And are um, you, like, you're on a battleship we're, or we're in, in a, a galley, submarine? We're in or? a kitchen, okay. we're on a base. Yeah, it's not like we have these awesome, uh, you know, accommodations for these things. And you're cooking for 12,000 men who are heavily armed. Who are so heavily armed. So it better be good. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. I was in Cuba last year, and, uh, and you don't ask any of them what they do. You know, right. one, year on, one year on Guantanamo Bay, but you don't ask any of them what they do. So, um, so I got a little bit of color on the base of that. Nice. I just want to char it up just a little bit. It's just going to kind of intensify the flavor of that. And then I just add it right in. Next, 
my fancy little salt caddy I here. I love this. This is smoked salt, so it's gonna give it a little bit of that grilled smoked flavor. Smoked salt. This is a touch of chipotle flakes, just for a touch of heat. And this is sea salt, which is actually gonna give it a little bit of a different flavor. So we're gonna put that in yeah, right there. the trio. Yeah, this the is a uh, poblano pepper. Okay. Give it a quick chop. Just like that, it can be real rough. It doesn't have to be absolutely beautiful and just pop it right in. Now I have a radish. So the radish, all I'm gonna do okay. is just run it. This is a microplane. Oh, nice. So if you look, it creates very, very fine shavings. Oh, look at that. Look so at what you. it's gonna do is it's also gonna create a sauce on the inside so I don't have to add a lot of the other stuff into it. So this is healthy cooking as well. This is healthy cooking as well. This has got great flavor. Radishes are really nice right now. Healthy. Oops. Healthy, yeah. This is some honey. You know what they say, always use local honey. Yeah. That's warm whenever you're ready to go with it. Uh, just say, you know, a little bit of local honey goes a long way, okay? Yeah. Because one, it makes you feel better if there's allergies in the air, any of that stuff. Helps with your immune system. Helps with your immune system. Mayonnaise, not a lot. A little bit of mayo. Just a little, just like that. And then I have a touch of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Just and then all I'm gonna do is Mix it together. So okay. we're gonna let our slaw sit. If you wanna make anything ahead of time, this would be the one to make ahead of time. And while we let that sit, I'm gonna take a quick break and cool, we'll, cool. we'll check out everything else on the other side. All Chef right. Duffy, we're gonna cook up more with Chef when we come right back. When you go into a dive bar kitchen, it's not like we wanna see all this big fancy stuff. You can create on simple things like a flat top, a fryer, a good slow cook oven to make it easy and simple and something that's great and easy to execute. One of the biggest things that we did is right here. Welcome back, we are <laughs> back with Chef Brian Duffy who has been cooking up a 4th of July feast this morning for us. So we've got everything cooking, but yeah. what's the show like? You've just completed your last episode with Bar Rescue? Just did my last episode a couple months ago in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was an awesome, awesome run with those guys. I did a little over, I think, 22 episodes. Um, so I, I've seen everything. Um, I, I was just telling you the show I did in Tennessee uh, was the absolute worst kitchen that I've ever stepped foot in in my, oh my entire gosh. career. And I have been in kitchen since I was 14, and I am not a young, young man. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm no stranger to seeing these things. It, uh, it, it was bad. Wow. It was bad. This one was mold in walk-ins and uh, uh, bad product everywhere. It well, was it just... It was bad, but you're so good on the show. Oh, it's addictive. Thanks. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Speaking so, of addictive, this looks All right, so amazing. this is just a roasted garlic ciabatta that I picked up at the grocery store, and all I'm doing is toasting it. So it's a little bit of olive oil. Now, again, if we're outside, you can do it on the grill. Just brush it a little bit with olive oil. Take, you know, this is just a uh, Pecorino Romano cheese okay. that I'm putting on top because I want to kind of melt it, all right? So then once I get a nice bit of toast on the bottom of it, then all I have to do is take them out. I've already got some really nice tomatoes. We're dying for some Jersey tomatoes out there. here. We love They're the not Jersey here yet, tomatoes. but we're getting there. Um, I take two slices of tomato just like that and just pop them on either side. I'm going to take a little bit of salt. That's your sea salt? This is sea salt that I'm going to put on there. And the reason why is because I want to pull the natural flavors out again. So we're going to okay. keep it pretty simple that way. Then right here, so chicken here. breast. So this is our brined chicken. So if you look, it's still nice and juicy. Okay. This okay. was even cooked a little bit ago. And all I'm going to do is slice it nice and thin and I'm going to set it right on top. Okay, so this is a nice lighter sandwich. And then I'm gonna take some of our awesome slaw that we made, and we're gonna pop some of that slaw right on top, just like that. Put that over top of it. Set it down on a nice plate. You've got something like that. Got the you chips. can build them ahead of time. Put some skewers in it, and take some rosemary sticks. Put it in there. Oh, the Let them skewers sit, are them a fun idea. Half. Yeah, there's just nice fun. This is all fresh. So so good and so simple. So have fun with it. Yeah, I love this, and it, and I love the fact that you're doing a healthier, little healthier twist yeah. than the big old beef, high cholesterol. I, yeah, we could have done ribs, and we could have done yeah, with yeah. all the other stuff, but um, obviously my girlish figure, I'm no stranger to eating every <laughs> now and then, but uh, I, I really do try to eat healthy. I try to eat clean. I have two little girls that I'm trying to teach the, you know, the better ways. So it's not all about the potato chips. These are a baked potato chip instead of a fried. So, you know, my girls really get it, and my girlfriend is awesome because she's very healthy. So we have a fun little lifestyle together, and, and my garden is growing right now oh. so I can't wait for all this stuff to start coming out you got to come back and we'll we got to show your garden oh my and do god some absolutely more. I've got crazy stuff going right now oh, I'm ready I want awesome. chickens next chickens <laughs> I keep saying I want chickens so can somebody let me have chickens please so Brian Duffy thank you so much chef <laughs> it's so good much. to have you pleasure to meet you that's it for us see you tomorrow here on the dawn show have a good one